We're still in section 2.1, but now we have moved on to histograms and relative frequency histograms. Here is an example of a histogram on the left and a relative frequency histogram on the right. Histograms and relative frequency histograms provide effective visual displays of data organized into frequency tables. Bars represent each class. Histogram bar height is the class frequency or the relative frequency. The relative frequency histogram's bar height is the relative frequency of that class. It is important to note that the two histograms will always have the same shape, just a different vertical axis, where the frequency histogram shows the count and the relative frequency histogram shows the percentage. Here's an example. In step one, we'll use the given data to make a frequency table. Here is the copy of the data we used in the previous example. And here is the resulting frequency and relative frequency table from the previous example. So step one is complete because we have the frequency table completed. In step two, we label the horizontal and vertical axis. The class boundaries go on the horizontal axis. The frequency or relative frequency goes on the vertical axis. In step three, we draw bar height. For each class of the frequency table, make a corresponding bar with horizontal width extending from the lower boundary to the upper boundary of the respective class. For a histogram, the height of each bar is the corresponding class frequency. For a relative frequency histogram, the height of each bar is the corresponding relative frequency. Notice that the basic shapes of the graphs are the same. The only difference involves the vertical axis. The vertical axis of the histogram shows frequencies, whereas that of the relative frequency histogram shows relative frequencies. In summary, how to make a histogram or relative frequency histogram? First, make a frequency table, including relative frequencies with a designated number of classes. Step two, place class boundaries on the horizontal axis and frequencies or relative frequencies on the vertical axis. For each class of the frequency table, draw a bar whose width extends between the corresponding class boundaries. For histograms, the height of each bar is the corresponding class frequency. For relative frequency histograms, the height of each bar is the corresponding class relative frequency.